All right, so it is April Fool's Day, and um, I became inspired to come out here uh, again in front of the mural of Robin Williams. April Fool's Day, uh, I'm just sharing some thoughts uh, on the spiritual significance of April Fool's Day. <clears throat> I have a little cold, so my voice is a little different, but, uh, and I, the re I just walked up here. I actually saw a couple cool signs uh, uh, that I'm gonna go back to, walk, walk over to and talk about them, but, um, the reason I'm in front of Robin Williams, I decided to come out here, is because April Fool's Day is a joking day. It's a, you know, you call somebody up and you say, hey, this is the IRS, right? Or something, or uh, blah, blah, blah. And then you say, April Fool's, right? So you're kind of, you're fooling them, right? And uh, it's supposed to be humorous, at least, uh, most people, it's supposed to go that way, right? <laughs> so that's the reason I came out here to uh, Robin Williams. It's close by to where I go for coffee. And um, so I just decided to do a riff today on the spiritual significance of April Fool's Day. And I just came up with a couple of them. Um, one was, is that, um, well, first of all, I looked up on uh, Wikipedia uh, or something, maybe it wasn't Wikipedia, maybe it was something else, but something like that. The origins of April Fool's Day. And um, the one that I thought was the best was the one where they changed the, at least in the Western culture, Europe, they changed the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar, right? Uh, and I think these are popes. I'm not sure. But uh, so the Julian calendar, I believe, be the, the, the new year began in April, on April 1st. So April 1st used to be the new year. So March 31st or whatever was New Year's Eve. And uh, April 1st was New Year's Day, right? And then the Gregorian calendar changed the new year to um, January. So the new year used to begin in springtime and then they changed it to January, which is uh, winter, right? So we all know New Year's begins January 1st, New Year's Eve, December 31st, blah, blah, blah. So so the explanation for why April Fools may have started was because of people in Europe in the, I don't know, 1400s or so, uh, in certain communities or areas, they didn't know that the calendar had switched, right? So they were still, um, <coughs> they were still doing they were still beginning the new year in in April, right? And not in January. So there was a joke or people started joking, saying, oh, these people, oh, April fools, uh, you, you're a fool. That's now this, this is how we do things now. So <coughs> I just think that uh, from a spiritual point of view, the, the the time is interesting, time. So in the world of form, we need time. We need time to interact and say you just meet somebody. I just met a friend for uh, lunch today. We said we were gonna meet at 1 p.m. And so that's time, okay? And for practical purposes, uh, that's important. Uh, otherwise, there's it, it would be hard to function, right? Um, but uh, f f for knowing your eternal truth, knowing who you really are, transcends time. 
right? So there is no time. So in a way, I was thinking that, I don't know if you could call it April Fool's, but you could call it like, uh, you know, what time is it? And your people, and most people are saying, well, it's this time. And you say, no, uh, whatever fools, you know, time fools. I don't know. You don't want, you don't want to, but you just want to, you just want to, um, that for, for enlightenment, for awakening to your eternal truth, there is no time. Okay. There is no time. And for people, some, for people who haven't awakened, it's, that's a very hard thing to grasp, right? It's a hard thing to understand. Um, I sure couldn't understand it. Uh, if people came up to me and said, uh, there is no time, uh, before I had an awakening. If people said, oh, no, there's no time, there's just this eternal now moment, I would be like, these, these people are crazy, right? I would be laughing at them. I would be thinking that they're, they're having a hope, that they're making fun, right? So, but the, but the, uh, but the joke is, right? <coughs> the joke is, is that we're all stuck here in, in eternity. That there is no time. There's just this eternal now moment where things are are happening. You know, these appearances are happening. These things are going by. You see, you could hear the cars. Well, there's no cars right now. Um, oh, there's a there's a seagull. Yeah, in Chicago, in Chicago, we do have seagulls. So April Fools. So there's a car right by me that just turned on um so april fools so what i don't know what i could come up with but basically whenever you're in um in enmeshed in time right that's what me is is to just take a deep breath and connect to what's timeless in you there's there's something timeless in you and when you when you recognize it then you know that when you recognize that there's timelessness in you that's your eternal truth i actually like this sign right here <clears throat> and this van prism prism it's sort of like It's sort of like you, the, the prism, white light, go, the sunlight goes, right? The sunlight goes through the prism and then the different colors go through, right? And we see what's hidden or we see what white light truly is, right? And in a way, meditation, surrendering, letting go, just recognizing what's here. You, 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 you see through the prism and you, you see through, through, the time, through the time of the mind. The mind is always in past and future, you know, for the most part. Um, and you see through it and you see the truth that's behind it the eternal truth which is eternal the eternal now which is silence and spaciousness and eternal love so so yeah so that's that's i thought that was the, the second thing uh april oh the second thing that comes to mind is April Fool of the comedy. I brought that up earlier. Comedy. Comedy is... It's good to have April Fool's jokes. It, you know, good ones. Harmless ones. Okay. Uh, it's good to have uh, 
comedy. It's healthy for it, it's healthy because it, it diminishes the ego. It humbles yourself. So comedy is important. And I've talked about that before, uh, but laughter, it, it brings us c closer to our truth, right? Than this sour puss, rah, 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 everything's, the world is going to shit and blah, 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 blah. And you know, things, things are going, not, you know, things in parts of the world are, are a shit show, but um, in the world of form, but in truth beyond that, everything is, it's all good. It, it, it's all what it is, right? So, oh, I like this, it's, it's your world. Well, it's everyone's world. It's our world, you know, it's the world. I like this sign in the, I don't know if you could see that. It says uh, open books. It says open books, but the reason I like that is um, to awaken, to truly awaken and deepen, you must become an open book, right? You must be an open book. You must open yourself up to truly deepen. Because you can have an awakening experience um, and still, and you, you could have an awakening experience and be, and remain stuck and just remain and not, not truly opening up. You, you, and then, then the mind takes over and, and says, Hey, I, I had an awakening. And then the spiritual ego takes over and blah, blah, blah. But you need to really open, open yourself, open yourself to the pain bodies and stuff like that. Open yourself up to the shadow aspects of yourself, right? So I'm just gonna walk around for a little while and see what's, uh, see what's gonna present itself. Um, saw this signs across the street it says uh, I don't know if you can see it, a greater pursuit a greater pursuit so awakening your spiritual journey this is it this is this is it this is it I'm in a bike path so I want to make sure I'm not nobody's coming by a great a greater pursuit this is it you you're seeking this is it this is the the highest pursuit you're ever going to do okay this is more um important and even treacherous than like climbing mount everest Because if you're really going to um, awaken and deepen, you're going the, the the ego diminishes, right? And the ego death is one of the hardest things. Um, I mean, for me, it's been and and just reading and talk, hearing about other people, um, especially if you have a a, a, a dense karmic load. Uh, um, I guess for some people, maybe the, the, for whatever reason, they don't have a dense karmic load or it, you know, or, or at, when they had an awakening, they, they didn't have to worry about, or a lot of pain bodies got blown away. I don't know, but don't compare yourself to them. Just know that, um, you'll have to deepen and you'll, you'll know if you're, you're if you're still triggered by stuff if you're still taken away you, you know you still have work to do and I like this the keys it says uh, 
We make keys that work. We make keys that work. So awakening is sort of, you could feel like you're trying to open up. You're, you feel like you need the right key, right? And, and, and the right key is, is right here, right now. This is the only key, actually. You know? This is the only key, is this now moment. Everything that happens in this now moment. Like this, the skateboard. <laughs> His skateboard kind of fell off. Or he fell off the skateboarder, but he's okay. You see? <laughs> see, and that's time. So, April Fools, they're making fun of time. And we see a uh, sign across, it says, in these times. So, yes. So, to me, integrating is very important. Is integrating the time aspect, right? Hey, it's not April anymore. It's January 1st is the new year. To, um, you know, integrating that with this. With, with what is beyond time, what is timeless, the, which is eternity. So, I, I, and I was just actually meditating earlier today when I woke up and just thinking about how this eternal now that I'm experiencing, well, that I was experiencing seven hours ago or whatever, eight hours ago, was well, the same eternal now moment that I experienced when I had my first awakening like 15 years ago. It's the same eternal now moment that the Buddha had a couple thousand years ago, or, and Jesus had a couple thousand years ago, um, that Eckhart Tolle had, you know, 25 years ago, 30, whatever. That uh, everybody who awakens, this is the same now moment. Okay. This is the same now moment. <laughs> I like this. Ah, the flowers on the tongue. I guess. Ah, I guess that that could symbolize your blossoming. Your voice is blossoming. Your voice is blossoming. Your voice is blossoming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so we'll just walk a, lover, a, a little. <clears throat> so, happy April Fool's Day. I hope that you're finding humor um, on the spiritual path, even if you're going through shit, and I know that it can be very difficult sometimes. Just try to find some humor. I f saw this sign earlier walking up to here. I like this. It says eternal. See, eternal art supply. Eternal art supply. So, this, this existence is an eternal art, art supply. I mean, this is like, this is how we create, <clears throat> I mean, this world of form is not infinite, is not eternal. I mean, this form, as we know, I mean, we know that this planet is going to be eaten up by the sun someday. Uh, <clears throat> at least life here on this planet, but But, but the, the, this world of form is part of the eternal. And this is our, um, this is sort of our like,
painting or our movie set, right? Our, our, see this, our construction site, we, or we could make con construction, if you could see that. So, our, our, our sandbox, right? So, this is our sandbox. And I know this was, I haven't seen it, but I know this, this is this, this Tony award winning Hades Town. So Hades Town, Hades is like the underworld. So this is great metaphor for time and duality. So there's a heaven and a hell, right? So in this sandbox, there is a, um, there's that duality but when you awaken and deepen you transcend that duality right you know that there's duality out there but the the, the duality especially of the of psychological stuff and um, it diminishes you know like there's war going on in Ukraine right now and it's very uh and 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 we've had wars throughout human history and it's terrible and it's like this this um these as we transcend anger and division there won't be need for wars anymore because we're we're moving in the now, right? Many of us are feel like we're going in the wrong way. We're going in the wrong direction, right? But actually it's all perfect because this is all the perfections of the now. See, M move in the now, move in the now moment. Surrender, be, be present, die to the ego. Right? Die to the ego. Ah. Yeah, it is actually April 1st. Well, I'm gonna go here. Beautiful blue sky. Honk, honk. Horns are honking. Life goes on. <clears throat> I have a cold. Right? This is the world of form. And as you awaken and deepen, the world of form becomes, um, I don't know, more magical, more beautiful, even even, uh, uh, you know, a mundane street like this in Chicago, right? Even people going through their, their days, you know, doing, doing, doing. If you just open yourself, here, I like this, open yourself, the space, right? If you make, can, can you see that available space? Can you see? If you, if you uh, make space available in you, the spaciousness of presence, of your eternal truth, then things have a beauty to them that you never realized before, All right? Even my cult <laughs> has a weird beauty to it. Even, like at this corner, even fast food restaurants and coffee shops, you know, well-known coffee shops and everything have a beauty to them because there's no mind making judgments. There's no mind going, ah, rah, rah, that's a corporate fast food 
all this bad stuff that they make unhealthy and corporate blah, you know. <coughs> you know, there's none of that. And I'm not saying in the world of form that we can we can have judgments about places. I'm just saying that if you do have judgment, it comes from this silence, the stillness, right? It, it doesn't come from uh, egoic division consciousness. So, so happy April Fools. And we'll end here with this. I like this wormhole thing, the wormhole. So wormhole is sort of like you go, go to the galaxy, to another galaxy and, or, and everything. And that's traveling. So I don't know, just brought that up. I don't know what spiritual thing about that. But so I'm going to walk across the street. So peace out. Happy April Fool's Day and uh, love you much. And until we meet again next time in the April Fool's Now, It's Now, It's Always Now moment.